So it uh, says here that you're a long time Notion user and you're here because of Coda? Yeah. And uh, can you explain what happened? It was all going great until I tried to make columns. No, but look at that editor. It's a block based editor. You can drag things. No, no, I could only drag them up and down. And I tried making columns. God, I tried. I just, at first I thought it was me, right? So I Googled it. Nah, it must have been a setting, right? No, hacks. Weird layout things. I, I still have nightmares about it. Like, it didn't work at all. Ooh. Just got a new update in. Coda has improved. Lies, it's probably another form update. No, 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 it says here that they have like a new editor. You can make columns now. Nah, it must be in beta, super hard to use. Well, actually, it looks super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I should probably start making a video about that. Hey, welcome to Tools on Tech. So I wanted to talk about Coda because they updated their editor and now you can finally drag things side to side. As a long-term Notion user, that was the one thing that I was really missing. Now you might be wondering, Boss, I haven't heard you talk about Coda at all. Are you even using it? And yes, I'm helping out at a Dutch Japanese culture event and there I am using Coda to help them figure out administration, things that have to go between people. So I use Coda a lot and this is something that was just really, really missing. Now, one of the reasons why I really love being able to put things side by side is making dashboards. From my engineering backend, I make a lot of dashboards to see if I'm on the right track. And in a data heavy application like Coda, having that option, and let me show you by making like a pie chart and making like another one. Um, give me a quick second. So as you can see, like putting things side by side makes it easy to compare things. And that's a game changer. It means that Coda suddenly becomes much closer to what I love using Notion for. And it's making like overviews and dashboards. And it's a bit squinch, but just like Notion, you can widen it and then have them next to each other. And it allows you just to at a glance see whatever project you're tracking, if it's doing okay. Now, they didn't stop there. Another great feature that they added was subpages. And you might be going like, hey, I know Coda, Coda had subpages for ages. So let me create a subpage. And you would be right, like, hey, subpage, yay. But the problem with this subpages is that it's not really like as in Notion. With Notion, every database record was a subpage. And you could do something like that in uh, Coda, because when you had like tables like this and there was data in it, I'll open this one, you could open data and then click that tiny button there. And then you had like a full page where you could like type in, in stuff, but it wasn't explicit. And the main problem you have when it's not explicit is when I'm trying to explain it to other people because they go like, hey, this doesn't work as I'm used to and I don't see the data or they don't know that that string bar is actually like meant as a long text form field. Now what they've done is that you can add a column and say that it's a page. Let me see, canvas. Canvas notes. And that becomes a full-fledged Coda page, just like you're used to in Notion, where subpages have like the ability to add everything. So I can add a pie chart again here. I can link it back to other data that I already have. And that's huge because that allows you to make specific tables. One of the main cases that I have for this is things like meeting notes. Now with Coda, I could make a button that says like, hey, make a new meeting note, set the date, set the attending people, make a note with like default things in it or an agenda. And I've also seen tricks and I need to figure out how to work this where you get data outside that note. So if you, for example, inside the note, say something like action boss needs to do X, then you can say in the overview that it subtracts that data and then shows it in the table. So you don't even need to look at the note and you can just see who was assigned to what or what the key points were of said meeting. This is super useful, of course, not just for meeting notes, but think uh, project lists that you do, any type of task where you need to keep a lot of data in there. I don't know about you guys, but I very often have tasks with details that I wanted to add. Now, they added a lot of other stuff, but these two things really make me excited and it's something that I just had to share with you guys. 
you have to have a look at this if you have used Coda before and thought like, hey, this doesn't match up what I'm used to in Notion. Um, I still prefer Notion because it's more simplistic nature. So it's easier when you just need to store your own data. But I love Coda because you can, well, basically program buttons and really help people or force them into a certain way of working. And that might sound a bit evil, like forcing people to do it in a certain way, but it's really hard to get a group of people to have the exact same way of working. So being able to enforce it and to make sure that it looks the same and then being able to like put it in a dashboard and see how everything's going is huge from a business perspective or any type of team effort uh, and well worth the Coda learning curve that comes with it. Now, it was a short video. I'll be making more because I really love being in my studio. Remember, you're awesome. Keep it up and see you in the next one.